Hi, I'm Hans, and I have a massive needle phobia. Like, spiders, cool, 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 cool. Snakes, cool. Flying, yeah. Public speaking, let's go. Needles. Sometimes I even envy people who have other phobias because it seems a little bit more practical, at least in daily life. But I just got my Pfizer dose number one, and so can you. So for all my fellow needle babies out there, I wanted to make this video to share my experience on the day of, as well as the tips that I used to hype myself up and get to that moment. So if you wanna skip to my own experience, the day of, it's gonna be at this timestamp. So I was always that kid who was octopused to the doctor's waiting room furniture, screaming my head off, taking multiple adults to pry me off. Oof. So a little bit of background, I've been going to therapy for years for this. It's not something that I would ever pretend goes away magically on its own. But in my own experience, I started experiencing a lot of panic, especially starting around January 2021, when it became clear to me that it was imminent that the vaccines would be available for the general public. All of the tips that ended up working for me were things that shrunk the amount of available space for that fear to take up. Of course, your mileage is gonna vary, but this is how I got through the day of dose number one. So the first thing that helped me do it was realizing that the anticipation was the worst part of the fear. So I was on the phone with my therapist having my panic attack. She very patiently suggested that we make the appointment together. That actually worked really well. And so I booked it on Tuesday for the following Saturday which was still longer than I would have liked, but at least where I live, we're getting to the point where it's fairly easy to get same week availability and hopefully soon enough supply will be good enough that you can get even same day. So you're reducing that amount of time of just freaking out, giving your brain a field day. Another step that was really helpful was nailing down the root cause of the phobia. So maybe for some people that is the actual needle sharp object sensation itself. For me, it's the feeling of someone else doing it to me. So I found ways to make it feel more like it wasn't someone else doing it to me, that I was choosing it. Like it feels intellectually easy to understand the benefits of preventing an infectious disease, but body phobia wise is a totally different story. So I really had to challenge those thoughts of like, oh my God, someone is doing this to me. I'm being held down and restricted and they're doing it to me to, okay, I'm choosing to protect myself. I'm choosing to do this for the public good. And I'm choosing to do this over the risk of being hospitalized with COVID and having 24 seven needles. I want to choose two seconds of the shot over two weeks or two months, potentially on a ventilator or worse. I spent way longer than I maybe should have looking at videos and photos of people getting the shot, which may or may not be helpful to you. But the takeaway that I actually got from that was seeing how many people were happy to get this, how many people were celebrating, even like crying tears of joy. And I realized that without the phobia in the way, that would absolutely be the case for me too. So something that was really useful was thinking about the things that I would be happy for or would want to celebrate. And for me, the number one is haircut. I am a vain bird. I scheduled a haircut for the day that lockdown started, and now it has been a year and a half. I've been spending over a year looking like this when I really feel most at home looking more like this. So once I do this, once I endure these two seconds, then yes, I'm gonna get that haircut. I'm going to hug people. I'm gonna see my friends. I'm gonna feel free and not afraid that I'm gonna accidentally kill people at the grocery store. Like, something else that worked wonders for me was cosplaying as a person who's not afraid of needles. This is the blazer that I wore the day I got it. This is a person who is not me, who wears glasses, and who loves inspecting sewing pins and collecting the biggest pokers that can be found. Apparently this is called a yarn darner. Wouldn't that make it easier if you had to get a shot with a yarn darner? Darn. But really my confidence changed a lot when I put on actual clothes, not COVID sweatpants, because it made me feel like a real person going out to get something done instead of somebody who's scared and 
schlubbing their way to something that's mandatory. And of course, you are not just a defenseless little baby chicken. We are humans, we have opposable thumbs, we have the ability to use tools. So here are all of the tools that I put in my own go bag on shot day. Numbing cream worked really well. I tested it out beforehand. I put it all over my arm about an hour before. Headphones, if you decide that music is a good bet for you or whatever audio helps. Doodads to fidget with. Comfort items, so I always take this pom-pom and this little bug out guy, which is exactly how I felt. And of course, if it's available to you, something to take the edge off brain chemistry wise. That could be something like Valium, which is prescribed by doctors specifically for anxious needle babies. But of course, never do anything without having previously tested it to know what your headspace will be like, what your behavior will be like. In the past, when I've had to have things done, I did have a Valium. One of those will take me from Howler Monkey to Aquarium Petting Zoo Sea Cucumber. All right, so at this point, I will share my experience the day of itself. I'd booked the appointment for a Saturday morning and was able to forget about it for most of the week prior. Friday, pretty much all day, all night. I was made up of about 70 some percent water, 20 some percent hot sauce. My body was just on fire. I was freaked out. I was anxious. I didn't sleep at all that night, but the benefit of that was that I tired myself out. You know, kind of like when a toddler has a tantrum and they have such strong feelings that they don't know what to do with and then they just get exhausted and take a nap? That's what happened. So it was actually pretty good. I was exhausted, but I went through my routine. I put on my nice outfit and I went to a mass vaccination site that was run by the National Guard folks and nurses. So National Guard folks doing the admin, nurses doing the shots themselves. I go in is probably under 15 minutes of paperwork. There's only three people in front of me in line to get the shots. I see the nurse, she's doing it. One second or two max. Like the nurses are super, super efficient. What happened was I sat down. I was really honest about being nervous. That felt good to be able to say. I told the nurse I was nervous with needles and she told me, okay, I'll go get you the special baby needle for little anxious birds. You know, look, she reached over from the other table. Whether that was a bluff or not, I don't know. But I asked her if we could count down together. Three, two, one, go. And so she was sitting here. I wasn't looking. And we said, three, two, one, go. And I felt nothing. The numbing cream worked perfectly. I felt absolutely nothing. It was in for probably under a second total. Like... I was completely blown away by how much simpler the experience was than I thought. I even got a sticker. So I would never lie and say that it's easy. This was for me the result of so many years of therapy and, and working through stuff. But what I can say and offer as an encouragement is that it feels pretty amazing to know that I'm capable of facing my own fears. So I'm feeling a lot more confident going into that second dose and I am rooting for you too. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Positive reinforcement. So if you're a fellow needle baby, let me know down in the comments if you've been able to get it yet. If so, what tips worked for you? And I'm gonna be right there psyching myself up to get that second dose. I will see you next time.